Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well today. Uh, so this is something a little bit different for my channel, um, but I wanted to show you nevertheless. So yesterday I went to the pet shop with uh, Kim to go and get a bunch of crickets and you know, feeders, locusts, locusts and things uh, for my spiders. I was talking to the gentleman who was uh, runs the uh, kind of the exotic section of the pet shop, shall we say, you know, for amphibians, invertebrates, and reptiles. And he, I was, I was discussing the Celadonia, and he just said to me, uh, "Would you be interested in these?" And he went round to the back and came out with a tub with, with these two, and these are fire-bellied newts. Uh, there's two of them. And he gave them to me for free. He said that someone had been in and didn't want them anymore and left them with them. And he just said, I know you'll look after them, so do you want them? And of course, I accepted. Uh, I've never owned anything amphibious like this, but I know a lot of you have been asking me to get something kind of aquatic. So um, I hope this will be okay for you. I'm not all that knowledgeable about aquatics so this is completely new for me and I will do my best um, today is uh, sorry today is Monday the 10th of July and uh, of course I have my phones going off I have uh, I have my YouTube and, and things going off oh a uh, new video from the dark den so uh, if uh, you don't know who he is check him out because he does videos on uh, Mondays and Fridays so you should definitely check out the dark den I shall check that out in any second also why I have my phone out um, I'm part of a discord uh, group please uh, if you are, want to talk to myself and other uh, people in the hobby uh, it's a great um, site that I'm on and as well as loads of other people and we have talks and general discussion and it's re honestly it's a really good page I'm on it all the time um, I use discord now more than Facebook for talking to spider people so you know if you have an interest in that check that out there'll be a link in the description to that um, but yeah anyway so back to these sorry so yeah uh, I was given these two uh, fire bellied uh, newts uh, I believe uh, they are three years old from what I've been told and uh, they're adorable now I don't have a, an immense setup because I kind of got them on a bit of a whim I guess but I have this enclosure I've done a bit of research it's about half full of water uh, with some area to for them to walk on this is like a, a bit of a plastic uh, mat that they can walk on um, there's water coming from somewhere not oh, I was just stripping. I thought I had a leak. Um, so yeah, this is uh, anchored on, and they can walk around. And then in the week, I will be getting a more of a uh, fish tank with some uh, you know, sort of actual plants, and you know a bit more of a better setup. But when I got back, because I didn't ha obviously have the money on me there, and then to buy all fish tanks and things, so I've had to sort of wait till in the week but hopefully this will do for a few days for them it's going to be better than them being left in this tub so uh, my hands are clean I have just cleaned my hands I will point out to everyone um, that these from my well I know they excrete a toxin so if you do sort of handle them which is not advised but if you do handle them uh, make sure you wash your hands afterwards so to show you the underside My camera's not going to focus. Let's see if I can get a focus on this one. To show you, I don't know if you can see it, but this one's actually. Uh, Secreting the uh, kind of thing from the skin. Don't know whether you can see it on camera or not. So yeah, that's my new fire-bellied newts and how I'm keeping them temporarily. Um, so yeah, I know this isn't ideal, but 
it will do for now. A um, bit of a basic setup, but you know, and you can see. I don't know whether you'll be able to see the. Uh, there's like a bit of a kind of like a grey lump above his back legs. And it's like the uh, kind of floating right. That's what they rub off. Which is the uh, kind of the poison. So obviously, I need to go and wash my hands now because uh, I don't want to be ill. But yeah, so there's the one there. And the second one is just down here. Can we just say hello to the camera? Very graceful little things. So yeah, I will be doing videos on these because they are pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I guess please check out the links in the description. I hope you've enjoyed this kind of a quick video and hopefully you will check out the other videos I will be doing of these and other animals that you request and as always thank you for watching take care and I'll see you soon in the next video